This barn is about 10 miles from my home. I pass it all the time on my way to the Castle Gallery in Fort Wayne, and I have admired it for years. I just love all the character, everything about it. The weathered texture on the front of that and the parts that are missing in the roof, all the different elements in there, and then the wonderful composition the movement of the trees back behind and to the side and how there is such depth and variety in there. I was excited to have the opportunity to paint this with the group. I like to generally start with the different layers. The farther back the, the color shape that I'm dealing with, the more I start with that. So in this case, I'm starting with the sky back behind. So I just grabbed some manganese blue. I love that color for skies, especially when it's a nice, bright, sunny day. It works out beautifully for that. So putting in the, the nice, bright blue sky, I can come back in either with a paper towel and put some clouds in there, or I can add clouds after I've laid in the overall blue tone to it. Now here's a bit of an example of what I was talking about with, with using negative spaces instead of the positive. I started mixing up a darker lavender color to go towards the side of that barn. And instead of working that way with the barn, as far as adding the lavender and going out towards the trees, I decided to take the greens. I took that brush, I, uh, wiped it off and went for the greens instead. and cut back into the barn to help shape that barn. So the underside of that, it, that's sloped. So that little outcropping that comes away from the, at the top there of the barn, that outcropping has that little space underneath it. That little space underneath it isn't flat, it's sloped. It slopes from the, the top there down to a, a lower part on the barn. And that sloping is actually catching reflected light from the plants underneath, from the field of plants underneath. That light is, is bouncing up and hitting the underside of that. So that's actually going to be warmer because the, our light source is warm. Now, a thing to understand about reflected light is that every object that we see, whether it's a tree or a house or a rock or a body of water, everything becomes a source of light. We have to remember that we're dealing with a two-dimensional plane. That our, our overall painting panel is a two-dimensional space. It's not actually three-dimensional. We're not sculptors here. So in order to make it feel three-dimensional, we have to deal in terms of having some areas that push away from the viewer and some areas that pull towards the viewer. So with, when it comes to that roof panel, I wanted to push the back end of that down, and that's by reducing the brightness and the thickness of that hole in the roof. So I can still have that variety in there, that interest, but I'm pushing it back so that it's not popping up towards the viewer. So get out there and be an individual and just love this opportunity we have to create something beautiful.